Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. I wanted to do a quick video uh, just because opportunity presented itself. The uh, sun just threw out a huge uh, bit of plasma, a bit of, well, it threw out a bunch of everything and it's headed toward Earth and it hit. And we've got a good aurora. It's supposed to be a good visual aurora right now. Right now the sun's not down but uh, the uh, different numbers are up and uh, I just gave a quick listen on two meters 144 megahertz and we've got an aurora uh, a radio aurora not a visual aurora yet um, now as you remember on one of my past videos uh, the I've got my little grid map here that I've worked on two meters let me prop this up against my radio um, you know, I'm in EN34 in Minnesota, and what I'm going to work on Aurora is probably out, I don't know, three, four, five hundred miles. Although this is supposed to be a really good Aurora, uh, there's a lot of stuff that got projected out of the sun, and I wouldn't doubt if we work 600 and 700 miles. I'm pointed to the northeast. Uh, I've got a 12 element Yagi. I'm running, let me show you my, my big station here. It's set up very temporary, but I've got my uh, F, uh, FT, my Yesu FT991, and I'm running it into my TE Systems brick. Five watts out of here gets me about 400 watts out on, uh, on two meters on the brick, and I'm using CW. I'm using my key. Um, this is one of those modes where if it gets really good, we could get a rural E. You know, it's going to be bouncing off that E layer, and we could, could, it's very rare, but we could get a rural E, which would usually be out uh, 12, 1400 miles. Most likely, I'm going to have really, really good, strong signals on 2 meter Aurora, um, probably in the S7, S9, maybe even louder. Um, using CW. Um, you could use voice, but it'd be very, you're going to notice it's very raspy. That uh, auroral curtain is moving forward and backwards, and your signal is bouncing off that auroral curtain, and it's, you know, all those molecules moving back and forth, all that ionization moving back and forth, and your signal's bouncing off it. And so the signal, that, that straight signal, is distorted. You're going to hear this or really raspy signal on voice if you talked really slow you know good evening it'd be good evening it'd be well that's not right it'd be very raspy but we're going to be talking out probably three four five six hundred miles uh bouncing signals north and then they're going to come back so both stations are pointed north northeast uh for us and uh you'll notice uh that will be working a lot of guys. It'll be good, solid signals. Um, the further they are out, the weaker their signal is going to be. But I just wanted to show you this mode of propagation. People were wondering on VHF, uh, what did Aurora sound like? Let me show you. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be a special night. The, the numbers look good. Um, there was a lot of stuff thrown off the sun. So let me break here. And then I will uh, point the rig at, or point the camera at the rig, and uh, you can listen along as I work uh, some people on uh, two meter aurora. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is N two C B. He's in the EN-75 in Michigan. station was in Echo Mike 99. 
and this is N2CB in EN75. So EN75 is uh, about 470 miles from me. Really loud. See how loud he is? This is 470 miles away. K8RYU down in Ohio, and he's 725 miles away from me. So let me just throw that in there, but I'm in EN. Let's see if I can get this far enough away from you. Uh, I can't do that. I'm in EN34. The other station was EN75, who was really loud. The other station was all the way down in Echo Mike 99. So way down in southeast Ohio. You can hear them. W9EWZ, and he's in EN52. stations in there. W9EWZ who's in EN52 probably about 300 some miles away from me. The uh, K8RYU who's 725 miles away from me. You can hear him. You can hear how strong this aurora is. Really strong. But just the raspy tone, but it's almost so strong it's getting clear tone almost. It's really a strong aurora, but just that raspy tone. Echo Mike 99, 725 miles away. Very good Aurora. Um, so, good example of Aurora, and uh, I'll, I'll jump back in a second. But hey, I hope I hope that was a good demonstration. I hope it came across. I'm uh, I'll, I'll film if the Aurora gets even better. This is a pretty good Aurora. Um, all these signals are using CW. Um, at times, you could get Aurora E and use voice, but uh, this is primarily from two meters on up a CW mode. On six meters you can use voice if you talk very slow your voice will be very raspy but hopefully you heard what that auroral, that uneven auroral curtain does to that uh, pure CW tone makes it very distorted and raspy. Um, this is a good way for you to work you know three to seven hundred miles uh, the stations we heard you know I'm in EN 34 uh, in Minnesota here and there was the station uh, in EN75, so about 400 miles away. Very good, loud, easy tone. Uh, and then the other station down here in Echo Mike's, uh, Echo Mike 99, uh, 700 miles away, both bouncing off, 
you know, that auroral curtain up to the north. Um, but a great way to work some good distance uh, out beyond normal tropo mode. Everybody's using horizontally polarized beams, nothing vertical like you use on FM, horizontally polarized beams. They're probably running uh, a little bit of power, a brick, uh, a brick amplifier, and it helps to have a pre-amplifier to hear those weak signals even louder. Um, and they're all pointing north. If you hear there's an aurora, that's where you point north, northeast from here, and uh, being able to bounce signals. Now, I'm hoping later that the aurora gets better, and I did hear a couple of threes out in Pennsylvania. I'd like to be able to fill in a couple of these grid squares uh, out in Pennsylvania that I don't have. So um, it's a great, aurora is a great way to fill in uh, grid squares. I'm not aware that people are working aurora on the digital modes. Um, FT4 and FT8. Um, I think this is something where you've got to use, you know, human decoding and uh, earn the contact yourself versus letting the computer do it. Um, but it's a great way to fill in grids um, in that three to eight hundred mile range. So hopefully this was a good demonstration of uh, of Aurora. Um, it's a fun mode. It is a fun mode. Uh, you never know what you're going to hear and how loud it's going to be on VHF. So thanks for. Uh, uh, coming along on the ride. If it gets uh, even louder, I'll uh, turn the camera back on and, and put a few more uh, signals on here. But thanks everybody for watching. Take care.